in the trenches with Ryan Roxy. <laughs> You're having a good time here, folks, in the trenches with Paul Blazik. But that's not all because we're talking about all of Paul's, you know, sort of inner circle guys. And, and yours. And mine as well. And um, one that we sort of uh, neglect to uh, talk about and uh, who's actually the basis of WASP. He's a, uh, he's, yeah, yeah, he, he's a guy named uh, Mike Duda. And um, I, I, do you have any words? Like, like, I know Mike's not here to talk, you know, to defend himself, but if you were going to, if you're going to talk shit about Mike, what would you say? You know, like, because he's, maybe he's watching the show or something like that, but what would you say if, if you were going to talk any sort of crap about Mike uh, in his if, game? Okay. If I had to say something, He's good. He's real good. He's sharp. He's a smart. He's a smart dude. He's good at throwing out nicknames to us all, right? But he doesn't take on the nickname too well if you give him one, which, <laughs> which Ryan, you have done. Have I done that? Was I the one that came up? Because I, folks, yes, you did. You even know me. I do like to come up with nicknames, and I have um, invented a few nicknames over the years. A couple for you. Like a, a classic <laughs> for you, which we might want to talk about later. Well, you know, I, I do call you, well, I, I called you once a, a Ben Franklin. I, I said, I used to call you Ben Franklin for a little Why? while. Why? I, I, no, no reason. No reason. Okay. okay. That's, I'll, I'll, I'll go with it. And, but then, it, the, the, then the second one, should, should I say it? Because maybe which we one? have a logo for it. Do we have do we have a Seven Eleven logo? I oh. said Seven Eleven arms, but no, but that, that's okay. It's a, it's a totally inside joke, and your arms look fine. Look at those look at those sleeve tattoos. Love that it's in the shot. Please the reason, don't it again, Ryan. He this is what Ryan did when he did this gig at Jones. Just him and I had to learn thirty songs, which we argue about all the time. Where he goes, Paul, how do you not know all these cover songs? Because I play originals, Ryan. So I learned thirty five songs in one hour. We played over at Jones, and so after every song, he would go, and on drums, percussion, we have 7-Eleven arms. Or you'd give me a different name after every song. I, I came up with a bunch of different nicknames that night, and unfortunately, I don't remember that night. I, but, I will play on a stage anytime with him. Give me any name. I'm good. All right, cool. Well, again, that's all. The, that's the only crap you're going to talk about, Mike? Mike Duda, folks, for, uh, you know, I mean, would you talk any more? <laughs> uh, there it is. <laughs> Damn it, Victor. Vic Chalfant is bit, he's quick. Vic, Vic is he's on it. Uh, Mike yeah. is a good guy. I could uh, go off and we talk smack. We talk some smack all the time, you know. But he doesn't I, like I, the name I, Little Burrito? You don't think? <laughs> I, I, I love it. You do? You You love it. Really? Yeah. We, if, 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 now I've heard I've heard this old it's one of those things uh, it's folklore it could be some sort of um, a fable if you will but I, I heard if you if you say his name three times little burrito little burrito oh, don't say it a third time it's only like Beetlejuice <laughs> he will appear oh. but but say it with me let's try it let's try it all right little burrito little, little burrito. burrito little, little burrito. burrito. <laughs> That was the yeah. worst introduction ever. You gotta be kidding me! What are you doing? What's up, ladies? You, What's going on, you fuckers? <laughs> okay, okay. So, so folks, you, what you just saw was Matt. So my, podcast. Oh my Matt. god! This is well, this magic is because we and him are up before nine in the morning. Well, we're up before nine in the morning. Yeah, I know it. Really What's up, brother? What's going on, my man? What's up, Walter? <laughs> oh, man, I was gonna say that. Walter's a really good uh, nickname that uh, that has. Uh, Paul now, let me let me clear this who up. Came, who came That's, up with that? First, first of you. all, let's just introduce Mike okay. to the rest of, of, of the world right now. World, this is Mike Duda, basis of Wasp, and so much more, as you can tell from his gold record. That's sort of let's see, he's not he's not bragging, he's not putting it right there front and center. It's just sort of on the side, so you know it's there, right? That wasn't intentional. <laughs> <laughs> You this sneaky no bastard. Like this little thing? <laughs> this, oh, yeah, oh, with the 55 oh. West Falls? <laughs> yeah. That looks great. That looks awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate hey. it. Good morning, guys. Thank How's it going? What's up? I don't this see you guys this early unless we have golf clubs in our hands. Exactly. This it's is the only like, way. This is totally or, or Budweiser. 
<laughs> well, breakfast of ex-champions. So, I, I, so, so Paul, what, what wrong with the camera? Were you reaching for your morning Chardonnay? <laughs> what, what was up with that choreography, buddy? I'll you tell you what happened. There? I was sitting down here, and if you had a camera going down here, it got mixed up with my yellowtail bottle. So guys can just stop it, shove it, you know. What do you got there, middle, Irish coffee? I was, I was in the middle of my vodka chino, <laughs> and I'm like, I need a little choreography going on. That's yeah, good. It's because, nice you work, know what, buddy. my producer says that it, it doesn't fuck up the effect of the total fakeness of our studio. Oh, so, <laughs> good is, but obviously oh. you, but you know what, Paul? No one's gonna. Oh. No one's gonna even call bullshit on that backdrop of of your. Uh, that's what you got to like. That is like full on Hollywood apartment. Hello. Dude. Well, right now, all they want their apartment back. Listen, right now, I right now I'm in my I'm in my uh, I'm in my uh, movie studio. So just let's. This is where I do my soundtracks. We don't want to talk. <laughs> Mike, how did yeah. Paul get the name Walter? How did that happen? And then I'll and then I'll and then I'll I'll tell you how. The truth, but go ahead. You know, it kind of came about. What was uh, what was that bar me and you were at down on um by your house, the Irish place? Uh, Tom Bergen's. We were in there, and we were we were a little, yeah, to say the least. We were, you know, we were a little buzz. <laughs> and you had on those yellow sunglasses that looked like Walter from The Big Lebowski. That's right. I think and it was then, like I think it was eleven o'clock in the morning by then. Right, and then and then I. As it ensued, I had to carry you over 17 lawns to get home. <laughs> Remember? I do, but. Uh, which was awesome. And then no, Walter came, or was Walter before that? Walter was just because I, this is where it comes. Keith McCarthy, better known as Coke Santa or the shepherd. the shepherd. Everybody has, everybody, it's shepherd is a good one. Everybody that's has that's Mike. This is Mike's like, doing. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's, all, it's all my fault. But I I say the one the one uh, one more Walter is because when I'm sitting there and I and I'm like hey guys it's you know let's just have one more to go before it's not about drinking one more it's just let's have one more before everyone goes because a lot of times if I was doing some shows or whatever it was I would always show up at a bar if I would go I don't go now no one does but at like quarter to two because I wanted to go have a drink and get out I was not ever wanted to hang out the whole night unless. We were there, like the three of us or something like that, but we would never let it, want to talk to anyone else. Right. Yeah, you would call me at like quarter to one. Hey, yeah. want to meet at Jones? <laughs> <laughs> we, the three of us folks, just met at Jones recently because we had a jam. And we're not, I, I, yeah, I, I don't right. think we're supposed to talk about it. I think, again, sort of the witness protection agency, we can't release footage of it, right? But no. we should. Vic, do you have a clip of us jamming there at Jones? Oh, that, that's the closest this is going to come. That, that's yeah. the closest. Yep. That's the night that we jammed. I got that new guitar that same night, yep. that Pardo Telly. Um, everybody's excited. And, of course, we're all – we're kind of – it's a little bit hypocritical because we're not socially distancing at all, but we all have masks on. So that's good. That was good well, that, for that one photo. And then you saw me the whole time I was in L.A. I was, I was even on the golf course. How many masks was I wearing? About three about of them? Three? You, 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 had, you, were, you were ODing on masks. That's why the PPE was so short in L.A. Because Ryan Roxy comes from Stockholm and takes them all. But anyway, you were doing here. We're, we do our no, drill no, outs. You guys could go. To, you guys can go to a bar here. If you guys would come over to Stockholm right now, it's completely open. It's well, like they're, they're living in, you know. Living in denial. I'm not going to do that because you're just going to pull a fast one. Because what I did with you at the O2 Dome or the Wembley with Led Zeppelin, I'll get there and everything will be closed. Aha! No, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm going to the airport right now. I'm out of here. <laughs> you can. You can. Now I, I'm going straight to LAX. I'm I'm out. <laughs> what are you doing, Mike, dude? I mean, I'm telling you, man. Thank you so much for waking up. Dude, early. thanks for having me. You know, you guys, you guys snuck this in on me. Oh, you sneaky bastards. Oh, did I know? Oh. The thing is, I, I've been watching a lot of Mike Duda sort of uh, stuff. I've been watching. I've been gone down the Mike Duda rabbit hole and I, in your career with Wasp and, of course, your illustrious uh, career with uh, ESP Guitars. I saw that right. amazing uh, promo that you put. And one of the things you say in that interview, and, and, and I wish we had a little clip of it. Vic, do we have a clip of it? No. No, of course we don't. Oh, man. <laughs> but one of the things you did say is like, you love places like Bulgaria. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Russia too. And, and and my question is, Paul, have you ever played Europe? Have you ever toured Europe? Yeah, we did some uh, small small places, like usual. Okay, well, what, what was it like? Do, do you find Bulgaria as crazy as Mike Duda? I was not in Bulgaria. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> are we good? <laughs> that was not in Bulgaria. That was somewhere in east, somewhere in Eastern Europe, but not quite sure. Yeah, looks more look like the, East look LA. At intensity. Look at the intensity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what? That, 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 that Slingerland uh, is that the Slingerland let, snare drum? No. Go back to that shot. It is. No, that's not. That's that. Oh, that's a DW. On. And let me tell you about that. Why I'm kind of nervous right here is because we're doing the Boys and Girls Club right here in Pasadena, and who's sitting here watching me play right here is Jim Keltner. I was freaking uh, out, and we're playing jazz. Boys and girls were watching. Well, that too. Hello, folks. Roxy here. Thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, hit the subscribe button or one of the videos around me to watch more. If you'd like to, please leave a comment. If you didn't like the video, maybe you'll forget how to type.